we begin with a developing story. Uh, a man has been arrested for, uh, in, in connection to the on ice death of Adam Johnson. Uh, you may remember the story from a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Adam Johnson, a former NHLer, uh, playing in England, unfortunately losing his life after a skate uh, rose up and cut him in the neck. A man has since been arrested on suspicion of manslaughter in connection to the incident. Uh, Mark, uh, I know a bit of a tough one for us to start here, but I would just like to know your thoughts on on the fact that we're at this point with this story where an arrest has been where an arrest has been made. It should be pointed out we have not seen any charges as of yet. It is just an arrest to this point. Yeah, I, I think anyone who had the the unfortunate uh, experience of watching that video of Adam of the skate cut of Adam Johnson probably saw this coming. I mean, it, it looked really bad, and we don't know if there was a skate clipping another skate, which is why his leg went up so high. And uh, I mean, we we don't know how this is going to play out, but it, it's just a reminder that what happens on the ice isn't necessarily uh, you know excluded from the law of the land, right? I mean, we saw this with. Todd Bertuzzi, when he had his uh, his horrible hit on Steve Moore, uh, criminal trials or, or uh, criminal charges were filed against him. Uh, there was a civil lawsuit that I believe was settled out of court. Uh, it's one of those things where there is a, the question is: Is there an assumed risk when you step onto a playing field, when you step onto a basketball court, when you step onto a football field, when you step onto the ice? There is a this is a violent game, and there is there is absolutely assumed risk if you take a slap shot to the face. And, you know, you suffer serious injury because of it. Is the person who took that shot liable? These are the questions you have to ask. This is, uh, you know, I don't think anybody thinks there was intent here, but is there liability in keeping control of of your, you know, the dangerous weapons that are attached to the bottom of your feet in hockey? That's the issue that that's at play here. And the fact that this is happening in England, I don't know what the law is there. Like, I honestly don't know uh, uh, how they perceive uh, incidents like this. So uh, it's going to be fascinating to watch this play out because uh, you can see both sides of it pretty easily. Yeah, my whole thing, I unfortunately ended up seeing the video surface on social media a couple of weeks ago, and I just can't help but just feel for Johnson's family and also just note how much of a freak accident it was. We don't normally see... I mean, to get to a point where a skate will make an impact like that, we, there have been other stories like with what happened with uh, Richard Zebnik a couple of years ago or, or Clint Malarchuk a couple of decades earlier. This seems like it's in the same vein where it's just a freak accident and an unfortunate situation. At least that's how I see it. I mean, I'm not in law enforcement, but I, I just have a hard time just reconciling with the fact that we're, we're at this point, considering that, at least to my eyes, this is a freak accident. This is not something that was intentional. But of course, again, this is just my opinion. Well, yeah, but that's why that I'm assuming, again, not a legal expert here, dumb no. hockey writer guy here, but, you know, manslaughter is not the same thing as murder one either. You know, it, the, the question is, are you at all times responsible for the life-threatening weapons on the soles of your feet when you play hockey? If you get checked into the boards and your feet fly up in the air and someone gets clipped in the face, are you responsible for that? These are the questions that need to be answered uh, uh, by the legal process here. And, you know, it's, when I, I talked to uh, Haley Wickenheiser uh, right after the incident happened, and she's an emergency physician and one of the greatest hockey players who ever lived. So maybe as, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, as qualified as anybody to talk on this. And she, she, she took issue with the word freak accident, that, that term, because she kept seeing it. And she said, these are not freak accidents. They happen all the time. They just don't always end in tragedy. You know, Jason Dickinson took one on the collarbone last year and he thought for a minute that it was his jugular vein, basically. And he was he got lucky. There's a you know, you can go back and find a clip. I think it was in 2009 where Ben Eager's skate caught Adam Burrish in the throat, like right across the throat. And if it was, a, you know, two millimeters deeper, who knows what happens? There are incidents all the time. Jason Dickinson's skate hit uh, Jacob Laka in the face, caught him in the eye, almost, you know, narrowly avoided taking guy's eye out. That was so this season. That was just a couple of weeks. That was like a week before the Adam Johnson in, uh, incident. So these, it's not that rare. It's just you know guys get lucky a lot. Let's face it, guys are getting away. You know they're 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 fortunate to get away from these incidents with you know their livelihood, let alone their lives. And you know, I don't know what the accountability is. If you throw, if you're a baseball pitcher and you hit a guy in the head, and you know seriously injure or or even kill him are you responsible because you were the one who threw that ball even if it's even if there's an assumed risk i don't think these guys necessarily sign waivers to play in the nhl right it's not like when you go to the trampoline park like these there's an assumed risk but i don't think it's written in paper that you know that they 
give away any rights they have to their own safety. I'm curious too, if it gets to a point where there could be charges or if it does get further, if this ends up being a case of, of precedent in this case, since this is happening in the United Kingdom, I mean, that's their own standard. And I don't expect that to be applicable for, for North American law, but just, just this is going to be a really interesting situation with regards to uh, uh, this unfortunate situation, obviously for Adam Johnson, and his family. And the fact that we have reached this point, it's, it's, I mean, obviously we're going to keep talking about it here on the athletic hockey show and all throughout the network, but this is just something that uh, I'm still very surprised about at this point, to be honest with you. And and you have to wonder about, you know, the, 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 the man who's arrested, we're not using his name because the, you know, UK police did not use his name, but you know, the, 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 the obviously he's not the victim here, obviously, but right. he has got a heavy burden that he'll be dealing with for the rest of his life here, regardless of the legal ramifications, regardless of any lawsuits that come. Uh, he's already been the subject of all kinds of abuse online, like really ugly, hateful, horrible stuff. Uh, and I, you know, he, for the rest of his career, he's going to be tied to this. And there is absolutely a mental toll, an emotional toll that's going to be taken on him. His career obviously is going to be affected. Uh, and now he's got it. Now he's dealing with this and you know, Hey, it happened. And like I said, you have to be responsible for yourself. He made a reckless play regardless of the intent, uh, but he'll be paying for it for a long time now.